All right. In a previous video, I was looking. I was measuring my um, my lab bench uh, amplifier for RF, and one of my amplifiers was okay, and one of my amplifiers was really quite bad, and so I wanted to replace it with something nice, and so I've bought a few things. We'll see what, how it works out. I bought these two things, which are kind of cute. Uh, these are low noise amplifiers, uh, 10 to 500 megahertz. So they are, again, a little bit low in frequency, but they're super cute. And they were really, really quite inexpensive from the seller. I think they were pulled out of some piece of equipment there. And uh, so anyway, I thought it might be fun to lay out a PC board for these and uh, give them a try and uh, see how they work. But the amplifier I kind of want to uh, play with today is this one. They both came, they both came today. This one is a Mini Circuits uh, uh, ZKL-2+, 10 to 2,000 megahertz, so very broadband, very nice, 12 volts. Um, I don't remember if, it was, if this is 20 dB or 30 dB, we'll, we'll go ahead and test it. Um, but these, uh, these are, this is pulled out of a piece of equipment. These are actually quite expensive. These are around maybe $200, something like that. Um, they have very, very, very good specs. And uh, this was on eBay for 20 bucks, so I thought that was a pretty good deal for uh, for a used amplifier. So uh, let's go ahead and um, let me uh, let me go ahead and strip these uh, strip these back so we can make some make some electrical contact to them, and we'll take them over to the network analyzer and uh, yeah, uh, try this thing out. All right, so let's see, I just turn this thing on. Uh, what are we doing here? Measure one, measure two, let's turn this one off. Uh, measure one, transmission is what we want. And we'll take a look at the uh, return loss as well. All right, so let's go ahead and do, uh, uh, I will go ahead and do return loss since we're here. Uh, we can do both, I guess we can calibrate for both. Uh, so this one's uh, transmission, this one's reflection, okay. So transmission, we will calibrate. Uh, we're going to sweep here from uh, full range, 300 kilohertz to uh, 1.3 gigahertz. Uh, we have a uh, shorting cable in there already. So let's do a cal, make sure our cal kit's right. We'll do a uh, response measurement. And there we go, we're getting zero. All right, so on another cable. Oh, I didn't, I really didn't need to do, yeah, I want to do this anyway. We'll do this one. Uh, where's my wrench? Uh, what I want to do is I want to put an attenuator over here. So we'll, we'll have to recal. Let me put an attenuator over here. I'll put this, uh, put this nice attenuator here so I don't blow up this thing. This is a 30 dB uh, 5 watt attenuator, so. Should protect everything. Nothing is going to get through that. Really, I really, really like this thing. It's very, very accurate. Pasternak made made some good stuff. All right, so let's take this off. We'll do we'll do another through. Make sure we're all calibrated. Yeah, minus thirty. So, all right. Uh, let's see response measure. There we go. All right, that was easy. This thing calibrates super, super fast. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put on a, let's see, let's put on another cable here. Uh, let me put on a longer cable since this thing's a little bit on the heavy side. All right. And this will be our input. And let's turn the power down. Power level, let's do minus, let's do minus 30. And then if it has 30 dB, it'll come up to zero. That's a good starting place. And we will hook up the input and output.
All right. And let's see, where can we put this? I guess we can kind of balance it here. It would be a good spot. All right. Let's look at our return. Return is terrible because we haven't applied power yet. Uh, 12 volts on the green wire. All right, 12 volts. So on the green wire. And there we go. So not great return loss. Uh, it's 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 very good up to. It's very good up to uh, gigahertz, and, and it's acceptable above that. Okay, might be a little bit wavy, but yeah, it's all right. Um, you want to see that in uh, Smith chart things? It's a it's a nice nice circle down there, looking good. Let's go back to measurement one, and we are getting 30 dB out. All right, so it is a 30 dB amplifier. Let's change the scale here to be a little bit nicer. Let's uh, do five, and then let's bring the uh, reference position down. There we go. So pretty much 30 all the way across. So let's see here, let's do reference reference level of uh, 30 and we'll do reference position of five and we'll do scale provision of one there we go so yeah it's uh, certainly within a db and pretty flat not many wiggles in it looks really really nice so yeah this is a very very nice uh very very nice amplifier this will be much much better in that uh, box than uh, than what's in there now um, and it is working down low. So I was a little bit worried. It said 10, 10 megahertz was the bottom end of this, but it looks reasonable because this is going down to 300, uh, 30, 30, uh, 300 kilohertz. Let's zoom in a bit. Let's do frequency stop of uh, 10 megahertz. I know the cow is going to be a bit funny, but yeah, there we go. See, it's working just fine. Marker. Yeah, megahertz. It works fine to a megahertz. All right, so we'll call this a megahertz to two gigahertz. This is a Jim Dandy. Jim Dandy. Do people have say that anymore? Jim Dandy. I love this old old sayings. Nobody says the old stuff anymore. All right, so this one this one is very very nice. Um, like I said, it's a ZKL dash two plus. And should we see how much power we can get out of this thing? Um, let's see. Let's turn off measurement two uh, let's change display to big and let's do format let's see here let's do measure one we want to actually measure power and we will auto scale we're here at minus Minus 30 dBm, that's not right. I don't think this thing's calibrated for power. Uh, yeah, I don't th I think it's because the uh, attenuator's in here. I think we're up around zero. So I'm not quite, I'm not really quite sure about absolute numbers on this machine yet. I'm still learning it. Um, I can do relative stuff easily, but when it gets to ap ap absolute dBm's, I think I'm not quite sure how to do the cal, if there is a cal. Um, but uh, we certainly can just add. Uh, so 30 dB plus minus 30 is zero. So let's change the reference position. Let's go down and let's increase the input power. Uh, let's, go, let's go this way. Oops. Uh, power. Let's go this way. And we're way off the scale. Let's do a scale, scale per division. Let's do five. There we go. Minus 17 power input. All right, there we go. And we're still going up. And we're still going up. And now we're kind of, I think we're kind of limiting now. I think, yeah, let's do minus 15. 
and so we're getting 15 plus 30 we're getting plus 15 out yeah that's a heavy that's just a pretty heavy duty amplifier all right so i like it um anyway i think that's all the measurements i want to make today uh i will uh I will put this in a box tomorrow. We will install this and uh, check it once it's in its, uh, in its final home.